Okay, here we are over at the Native Plant Nursery. Steve's firing up our watering rig. <laughs> He's heading out to do all of the trees. Yes, because we decided to plant in hundreds of trees this spring and we don't want to let them die. So over here at the Green Barn is a spot that you can park if you want to come over here and visit our nursery. You can also park at our house. Right in front of me is our orchard. We've interplanted this orchard with all sorts of wildflowers. We did a lot of reading and orchards really don't like having lawn underneath them. So these real tall plants, actually they're not real tall, they're about my waist. These are Riddle's Goldenrod and they have yet to bloom. They'll bloom Oh, August, September, even into October, and they are just this beautiful yellow goldenrod that the birds and the insects just adore. So we're gonna walk over here and take a quick look, get out of the sun, at what kind of plants we have around here. So we are now under our arbor in our nursery zone. We have all sorts of plants that are ready to go home and go in the ground. Nodding wild onion, you can see right here, is starting to flower, and there's a honeybee that is nectaring on that bloom. Those are in flower in our yard right now, and they are very cool. We have a ton of Ohio spiderwort, that Riddle's goldenrod that I showed you. There's foxglove beard tongue back here and American Columbine for some of your shady spots, as well as bottle brush grass. We grow a lot of this in our woodland zone. It's very happy there. These are our great blue lobelia. They are ready to go in the ground, I'm sure. We're working on some new tags. So they have the name on them, a little description of the plant. And then we will also have out here pictures of different things in case you're not familiar what they are. Here is some hollow stem joe pie. It is just getting ready to flower. We love joe pie weed. So do the butterflies. Fall sunflower. We have a lot of things that are still growing. Some little babies right here is prairie sage. We don't have any of that, so I'm excited. There's a lot of gray-headed coneflower. Rosin weed. We have different milkweeds that are ready. Mostly common, a few Sullivan's. And then over here in this zone are different trees. Not all of them are ready, but I do believe that some will be ready yet this fall. Things like redbud and different oaks and some American plum. And if you decide to visit, you also can walk our nature trails. Right out this way, it leads you out to our about one and a half to two acre field where we've planted lots of trees. There's lots of nesting birds. You can enter it via the woods right over here. And you can see, just to orient you, that we are now on the north side of the green barn. And the flowers around the barn are really just taking off. I know it's kind of washed out because of the time of day that this is. I've been working on this, trying to get this video forever <laughs> because I realized that my last one kind of stunk. So we've got it on YouTube and I think that the um, quality of it should be much, much better. Okay, well, here we go. A little bit of mountain mint. If you come see us, make sure you rub these leaves and smell them. They are fantastic. There's some frogs calling in our wetland right over here. The button bush is putting on seeds. We hope to offer some of those next year because they are a super incredible pollinator plant. Okay, we're here. Check out thecommonmilkweed.com. It has our phone number. It also has our email. If you want to come see us, just let us know so that we can make sure that we are here. And then we will see you then. Okay, happy summer.